okay now i am going to tell you how to write a program in c++ which will check if a substring entered by the user is present in the string or not okay now i am writing the program okay in this program i'll use a method called find and this method is included in the header file c string okay now i'm writing my main function here i'm declaring some uh, strings type of variables okay str is for string and sub str is for substring okay i am using get line for user to enter this string okay now i'm displaying a message so that the user can enter the possible substrings okay now i need to check if the substring is present in the string or not okay so as i told you that i'll be using a find method to check this so uh, what is a find method actually it is a function which returns the position of the substring which is contained in this string okay so i need to store the position somewhere so i'll be declaring a variable and i'll name that variable as position the data type of the variable this time i'll be using as size underscore t which stands for size type and which comes under c string header file okay so uh, i'm declaring that now the thing is that we have to find in which string so we have to find in str string so we'll be writing str dot find function and what the thing that we have to find will be writing in the parenthesis so we have to find the substring so s u b s t r okay now okay see one thing is also there that we have to note okay one i haven't completed this parenthesis okay so one thing is that uh, that instead of using this size underscore t as a type of the position you can you could have also used the integer type okay so the position can also be of integer type okay i'll tell you why i'm using this size underscore t type okay uh, okay so before, i'm telling you that what is size underscore t data type okay so this is for unsigned integral values okay so since position cannot be uh, uh, negative so that's why we are using size underscore t okay so now i have to check if this position is valid or not okay so for this position equals to or let's say not equals to minus 1 okay so what does this find function do okay so if it finds this substring present in this string it will return the position or otherwise it will return return minus 1 okay so uh, we can also use minus 1 but see what uh, many users or many people are going to think about this minus 1 okay so people will think that the data type size underscore t may be uh, converted into some value which is less than 0 okay so which is not possible and many times it gives error in the program uh, logical error i mean so instead of writing minus 1 i'll write a string n for no pos okay pos stands for position so this is a string and pos means that uh, the substring in the string is not present okay so we doesn't found anything in this string 
विच व्यूअर इज सपोज टू फाइंड ओके सो इट इज यूजली डिफाइंड लाइक स्टैटिक कॉन्स साइज टाइप एंड पॉस इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन ओके सो ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज द यूजल डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग एंड पोस्ट ओके so uh, as so it is better that uh, i guess that it is better to compare the n post instead of minus 1 because the code will be more le legible this time okay and uh, you know so we can say that std string n post is a constant which is probably minus 1 and representing the non position okay it is returned by the method find when the pattern in this string is not found okay so playing a message the substring is found at position otherwise i am displaying a message that the substring you entered wasn't found now here i returned from the main function okay See, now i will dis i will check for the output okay there is some problem in uh, 12th line okay so now there is no problem so here i am entering this thing like infinity fraction okay so suppose that uh, here i entered enter the possible substring so i am entering fraction so you can say the fraction is found at position 9 okay now uh, instead of entering any possible string what will happen suppose if i will press enter what is going to happen so the dash is found at position 0 so this is displaying a wrong message actually we should get the substring you entered wasn't found in this thing right so there is a correction that i need to do in this program that see i have to check whether is this substring entered by me is empty or not okay see so a condition i will have to write that not uh, see and not and here i have to check if it is empty or not so if it is not empty then this if statement will be executed so i'll write i'll t i'll have to check for substring so sub so substring dot empty so so this is mm, uh, now this will be fine i guess 